Greetings folks, today we are going to replace the panel in the first generation Electronics Mech 15. Not always necessary to remove the battery, but since this one has a hot swappable external unit, doing so just takes a few seconds, so why not? Ultimately, today's goal is to take what is already a very nice 91% standard RGB Full HD 60Hz panel and replace it with a 120Hz 100% standard RGB solution. As per usual, I will be using the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. I highly recommend this. Link in the description below. Very challenging to do a lot of these jobs you've seen on the channel without this. It can do things from taking apart phones to laptops, just small tech stuff. It is awesome. So starting with the sides, the side of the bezel is typically where I like to start as it's the most durable section of the bezel and I want to start with something there to ensure I can trust this bezel's durability while I am dismantling it. And basically this is clipped in place on the sides and top. So you're slowly and carefully going to literally feel this out as you have these satisfying clicks as you begin to slightly pry away at the bezel from the panel. Do not rush this. Today's job took me about 33 minutes start to finish and I tried two different panels in here in that amount of time. point I'm just working on a last few clips over by the webcam and now the complete top and sides are now free from the panel but the bottom section has a few clips as well as some adhesive so this is where we need to be very careful because we still want to utilize this very thin adhesive so when we put a new panel back in there it looks factory perfect at this point I'm going to remove the top right and the top left screw the only screws holding the actual panel itself to the lid. I'm going to remove these and now this is going to enable us to completely remove and separate the panel and bezel from the actual laptop itself giving us the freedom to remove that 30 pin plug and now work on the adhesive holding the bottom of the bezel in place onto the display. I'm going to take my trusty pry tool here and carefully work on separating the tape from that connection so I can remove the 30 pin plug from the old panel. the panel and bezel completely separated from the laptop itself, I'm going to slowly work from one end to the other to carefully remove that adhesive sticky solution from the display itself. I still want to keep that on the bezel 
Once you get your hands on this at this point, you'll see exactly what I mean. Do not freak out here. This is a lot easier than it looks. Having a look at the back side of the bezel now, we'll expose some of that sticky tape that I'm going to point to right here and there. The first panel that I attempted to put in this laptop is one of my favorites, the AUO42ET. Now this is a G-Sync certified panel. That does not mean that this panel will give you G-Sync if you install it. That is up to the manufacturer, the BIOS, and what have you. However, I wanted to start here because this panel has been notorious for not offering brightness control. Well, as it turns out, for whatever reason, perhaps the panel itself is now faulty due to me installing it in several different laptops, but it would not work in this machine. I was able to access the BIOS, but other than that, once the actual laptop was in the operating system, the display would just go completely black. Now, I'm going to edit this out, but I had worked on this for about 10 minutes, which was probably about 7 minutes too long for me to identify that there is clearly an issue or compatibility issue with this panel and this laptop. Or, this panel itself is just not working the way it should. So it was at this point that I finally decided to break out the N156HHE-GA1. This was a recommended panel for me to purchase several months ago. I have had this in my possession for about nine weeks. And as you can see, I'm just now for the first time, not only unboxing it here, but pulling the little cellophane wrap across the top there. Such a satisfying uh, sound and feel. And this is the panel that you should have your eye on if you want 120 hertz. Now, do not think this is gonna work in the thin bezel chassis solutions. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to redirect people to this timestamp here over and over again, but I cannot say this enough. This will not work in any single thin bezel chassis out there. While it will be compatible as far as connection, it will not be compatible due to the fact that the actual housing that holds these displays is a little heftier than the thinner bezel chassis solutions. So upon initial boot up, of course it's bright, it's colorful, it's gorgeous. And after my calibration, we had 100% standard RGB and 89% Adobe RGB. This is a beautiful panel. Link in the description below on how I calibrated this with the Spider 5. It's how I do all of my calibrations on these laptops. And now after powering the system back down, I'm gonna reinstall the top screws, put the bezel back in place, and now I am one happy gamer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Link in the description below for all the items that I had discussed in today's video that would be relevant to you. And this is Bob of All Trades. Peace out.